Good morning, we're at Anglesey, we stopped for a pee break and now we're heading to see the Great Ocean Road. Oh, like we're driving along the Great Ocean Road and staying at a place. So we're going from here, Anglesey, to ah, all the way down here to Marengo near Apollo Bay, which is next to the Otway National Park and a little way away from the 12 Apostles, which are around here. Fun fact with Alice, the Great Ocean Road is actually the world's largest war memorial, built by World War I soldiers returning from the war. I didn't realise it was so close to Melbourne. I thought it was going to be near Sydney or Brisbane, so I was really happy when I had the opportunity to come here. The drive took around three hours and the majority was coastline. It was so beautiful and the weather was amazing. We stayed in a place called Marengo, Apollo Bay being right next door. After we checked in, we went to a cafe to have dinner. We ordered the paella for two. It was such good food. Good morning guys. We walked last night to dinner. That was like a 15 minute walk from where we're staying to the town. But this morning we're kind of feeling lazy. So we're gonna take bikes. The bike's in the corner over there. Today's just gonna be a relaxing day. I think we're just gonna walk around and see what's there. Around sundown, we're gonna go to the 12 Apostles. But yeah, now we're just gonna go to breakfast. But my camera's about to die, so I'm gonna put that on charge and I'll probably see you guys after breakfast. See you guys. <laughs> back from breakfast we had smashed avocado with eggplant and it was kind of like this chutney thing it was really nice and then we went shopping for a bit i bought some postcards i bought i like well i like buying postcards just to stick on my wall <laughs> i got this one because i think it's kind of funky and it's just like the great ocean road and it also says australia upside down because well as a brit they are upside down to us and then i also got because the I've mainly been staying in Melbourne. I also got the places I've been in Melbourne. And I have been to... I haven't been to all of them. I've been to... Okay, I have not seen fairy penguins. I have not seen this. I've, I've seen this from a distance, but not the art museum. And I haven't seen the stadium. And I don't think I've seen the Brighton Beach box. Have I seen the Brighton Beach boxes? No, we drove past. We drove past, I haven't seen, well I haven't been so there, sick. so yeah, and I'm going to stick this on my wall as well, and right now I think I'm just going to journal because I need to catch up a bit, so I'm going to do that right now and drink some tea, I've also ran out, I like to, I like to write around stickers when I journal, but I ran out of stickers, so I just bought a sticker, so I can just like stick it, rip it up and then stick it in so I can write around it, rip that's it and what, stick it. so that's what I'm going to do right now. There's a beach really close to us that we wanted to visit. I also wanted to try the Aussie version of fish and chips, so we bought some and relaxed on the beach. Okay. Or is it? Nah. It's aioli. Uh, aioli and mayonnaise, the one with the dot on is aioli. It was so tasty and I would argue potentially better than the English version, although I haven't had fish and chips in years. While Pat was trying to avoid getting sunburned, I was in the middle of annotating a book for my friend. We 
also did a tiny bit of swimming and the water was really cold, but I actually really enjoyed it. It felt so nice and refreshing on my skin and it really woke me up. We are now going to head to see the 12 Apostles. It is now 7.04, sundown should be around 9pm, kinda. Yeah, hopefully we'll make it by then. We left a little bit later than we wanted and the weather was kind of horrible to begin with. We weren't sure if we were going to be able to see the sunset. Luckily, as we kept on driving, the weather cleared up and actually turned out to be a really pretty evening. The Twelve Apostles were beautiful. On the way back we also saw a koala, but it was so dark and we didn't stop because it was in the middle of the road. We are leaving. We only stayed here for two nights, so I hope you enjoyed the montage on the way back. We didn't go along the coast, mainly because it was quicker to get back into Melbourne. Looking back, I have really good memories of Marengo. It was such a relaxing few days and I felt so lucky that I was able to experience this. I definitely intend to be back. Today was a solo day in Melbourne. Pat had to go to work and I wanted to visit Fitzroy to thrift a bit. It was awful weather, but I get restless if I'm stuck in one place for too long, so I had to get out for a bit. I walked along the street and checked out some thrift stores. They actually had such good clothes but I didn't need any of them so I did my best not to buy them. I also found an upstairs small thrift market which I visited quickly and a camera store because I was thinking of buying disposables and I wanted advice. When I got back, Pat and I cooked kangaroo and smashed brussels sprouts. We ate this while watching Bullet Train. I love the soundtrack to this movie. You are all told you this is great. Yeah. No social media posts. Going to the Grampians. Well, actually, we're already in the Grampians. We're staying in Halls Gap right now, and we're gonna stay here for a night. I'm actually waiting to be let into the campsite. I've already seen a kangaroo and an emu on the way here. I just haven't seen one up close, so I'm excited to see that. It was really nice seeing the koala the other day, but it was so dark, and I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna be able to film it, which is a shame. But it's in my eyes. I guess it's just gonna have to remain in my memory. Actually, it's quite funny because I actually really enjoy how. You know, in Scotland, we have a Grampians, and then here, there's a Grampians. In Melbourne, I think there's, you know, there's a Richmond, and there's, in London, we have a Richmond. There's a Kensington in Melbourne, we have a Kensington. There's a South Bank, we have a South Bank. Yeah, I didn't realise it was like, I guess, as mirrored the places, which I think is really fun. I think that's very really cool, but yeah, and also actually, one thing that like, I don't know, Australia slightly misled me on. The weather isn't as good as I thought. Like, okay, right now it's boiling, but I don't know, the other day it was like raining so much. Even this morning it was like kind of cold. Like I was wearing tra uh, trackies and a jumper. So it really isn't as good as I thought, although actually today is boiling. But yeah, I'm just waiting to be let in to the campsite. I opened the door because it was so warm, but after we get let in, I think we're going to set up a tent and then we're going to go and get something to eat. I'm not sure what we're going to eat though, but yeah, that's the plan for tonight. To my knowledge, it might change. I don't know.
So what have we been doing here? We had a taster, we had a beer taster and we ranked them into order. So it's like one, two, three, four, five. Um, this is our last one to finish. Number five wasn't the best, wasn't our favorite. We didn't like it so much, so it took a while to drink. We drank it first and then number two and three, Pat chugged because as the alcoholic he is and number four i'd say was predominantly mine and i took my time drinking it because i like you know delayed gratification you know you enjoy the drink you enjoy the beer um but yeah but other than that it was great and then oh and we ordered burgers and we're gonna all eat some burgers now we ordered a barbecue beef roll and we ordered a chicken burger with buffalo sauce and then afterwards we're gonna start a fire how about fighting? Alice, can you beer me? Sure. I don't throw it. Can you roll it? <laughs> like bowls. Not into the fire. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning. We just had breakfast and I bought some Banksia pods for my family because we can't get them in the UK. And now we're just going to go on a little walk. We walked around some of the shops, but a lot of them weren't open. Yeah, right now, where, where are we going for our hike? Uh, we're going to climb to a place called the Pinnacle. We're going to climb to a place called the Pinnacle. And then we're going to visit Mackenzie Falls. And then we're going to visit Mackenzie Falls. So that should be fun. We just started the hardest walk of your life. Doing DOV at school, the walking was always my favorite part. The camping, less so. However, here, I enjoyed the camping. The ground was dry, it wasn't raining, and I didn't freeze in the night. The walking itself was even better. It started off as quite a steep climb up some rocks. But at the top, it flattened out significantly and the ground was kind of sandy. I really enjoyed this walk. I love being surrounded by nature and the weather was perfect for walking. The views were also amazing throughout. Afterwards, we drove to Mackenzie Falls and walked down to the foot of the waterfall. The water was stained a deep copper, apparently from the tea tree, but don't quote me on that. Good morning. I came back from the Grampians and I got, I got these... 
they look like pine cones, but they're not. They look like shaved pine cones, but they're called Banksia pods. And you basically take the top off this little cork thingy and put eucalyptus oil or like any essential oil in there. And then apparently you just let it sit and watch it diffuse. And I love things that I can just like place it somewhere and then just like look at it. So this is perfect. And I got some for my family as well, but I know, I think this is really cute. And you don't get it in the UK, so even better. But yeah, this is one of my last days here. I go back in like two or three days. I will be going to the city today. I've lost my trusty sidekick, so he won't be accompanying us. I think I'm gonna just look through some museums. Apparently there's gonna be thunderstorms at three, so that's not great. But yeah, that's it. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna wander around some museums and see what's there, unless something else comes up along the way. But I don't think anything will, so. I'm on a day with me wandering around Melbourne. I like this museum. It was definitely more abstract with the hall of weird chairs and the large sculptures reminding me of a sunset. The weirdest thing I saw were two kissing sausages. Before heading back, I walked down some lanes quickly. I think they're so cute and kind of chaotic. Good morning, it is the next day and now I'm gonna show you what I got. So I went to the museum. It looks like an Eiffel Tower, I think, personally. So I don't actually know the museum's name because I think that's two, there's two like art museums. So it's just the Eiffel Tower one. And I got some things, I got some things for my friend because I realized like a lot of my friend's birthdays are in February. So I got, she's into fashion and there was an Alexander McQueen exhibition on. I got her mug a travel mug, compact with some artsy face on it. And I got a postcard that, let me see it. look, it's two different things. I got her that for this, her birthday. And then I wandered around, I went on South Bank just cause it was like kind of fun and I know there's one in London. So I was like, oh, let me just go down South Bank. And then I walked through some of the, I kept close to Flinders Street Station because I was scared I was gonna get lost and I don't have data. So I walked around some of the lanes near there and I stumbled across this, I don't, I think it's called, well, it says Clementines. So I assume it's Clementines. Went in there and I got, I got two purses that are kangaroo leather, which I'm quite pleased with. So I got that. And one of them is gonna be for my other friend's birthday. In the UK, we don't have kangaroo leather. It's not as accessible to us, but here it's everywhere. But yeah, and then I also got some like really basic run of the mill tourist souvenirs. So I got a fridge magnet and I like to collect pins when I go somewhere. So I got a pin as well. But that's what I got yesterday. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna to do today. I need to do some uni work which is really fun and exciting for me, so yay. And then my trusty sidekick shall be back soon, and then we'll see. We'll do something, I reckon. I'm not sure what, though. In the evening, we visited Victoria Market. On Wednesdays, the market opens past five, and I really wanted to visit before I leave. It was also the Lunar New Year, so there were celebrations taking place in the market as well. We are hungry right now. The market was really cool, but there were a lot of queues, which is why we've left. And now we're on, what street are we on? Bygone well, Street. And we're gonna find some food here. We're feeling Greek or Middle Eastern or like kebabs or maybe Mediterranean. So yeah, we'll see what we find.
Hi, good morning. I just got back. I've ended up where I had first started. Wearing the exact same clothes. I just wanted to say goodbye. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm very tired right now, so I'm gonna unpack and then I think I'm gonna have a nap. I think I'll really enjoy editing this video as well. So I'm excited to do that. But yeah, bye.